Good morning, everyone. I'm CJ Adrian, and this is Viking vlog number seven. I'd like to start today's video with an announcement. I recently recovered all of my blogs since 2014. About two years ago, my blog was hacked, and it looked like I was going to lose all of that work that I'd done over the last decade forever. And yesterday I found an RSS feed that had followed my blog since the beginning and stored every single article. So now that I've recovered those, I'm going to be going back over them again, updating them with current research, rewriting them in certain ways, uh, just to make sure that they're all up to date and then republishing them on my site. With that in mind, today's video is really meant to accompany one of the articles that I've recovered and updated and I will be publishing today on my website. Uh, and that is on the topic of human sacrifices in the Viking Age. Was it a thing? So to answer that question, we need to look at two different types of sources. The first one is textual evidence. What was written about it and what does that tell us? And then the second uh, type of source is the archaeological evidence. What have we dug up and what does that tell us? So. I will start with the textual evidence and then work my way over into the archaeological evidence. One of the primary sources on human sacrifice in the Viking Age comes to us by way of the bishopric of Hamburg. At the beginning of the Viking Age, the bishopric of Hamburg was not very influential, but as Scandinavians left home more often to raid abroad, to go Viking, the Carolingians saw a great need to have greater contact with the Scandinavian world. They also saw a great need to convert the Scandinavian world to Christianity because the thought there was, if they're Christians, they won't be attacking us the way that they are now. With this new significance and really mission to save Christendom from the heathens, the Bishopric of Hamburg sent a couple of missionary, uh, or a couple of missionaries into Scandinavia to both learn about Scandinavian culture and then start uh, proselytizing the Scandinavians. The first person to go into Scandinavia on a mission was a man named Anskar. He went in the late 820s, early 830s. He visited the town of Burka, where he made several keen observations about Scandinavian culture in Burka at the time. The story of his mission is relayed to us indirectly by way of his successor, Rambert, who wrote down about all of his voyages, we don't have the, the written testimony of Anskar directly. While in Burka, Anskar did observe human sacrifice as part of ritual. He noticed, well, it's really in his description of the temple and the tree outside of the temple with all the sacrificed animals hanging from that tree. And then among those animals, they also had sacrificed human beings who were according to Ansgar, hanged upside down and then just hanging from the tree. Next, uh, we have Adam of Bremen, who several decades later also carried out a mission. He went to Uppsala in Sweden. He had similar observations in terms of the ritual and then human sacrifice. And he was a little bit more sensational in his writing. He definitely made it seem like it was a bigger deal than Ansgar did. These two sources together give us a sense that if both of these men went and they saw the same thing, they could have witnessed some actual human sacrifice going on. Historians have long discounted their testimony on human sacrifice as being propaganda, essentially, against the pagans. And so for a long time, that testimony has been discounted outright as just a fabrication uh, to help spur the, the uh, zeal behind the effort to convert Scandinavia to Christianity. However, the Swedes didn't stay in Scandinavia. They went very far to the east, all the way to Constantinople, and we have a testimony from an Arab chronicler about his experiences living among the Rus for a short time, uh, a man named Ibn Fadlan. Now, Ibn Fadlan has been made famous by Michael Crichton in his Eaters of the Dead book, which is a fiction, by the way, and then made uh, even more famous by The Thirteenth Warrior, which is a really campy John McTiernan movie uh, about the Michael Crichton book. It's really campy. Um, even Fadlan's testimony is important because he observed human sacrifice as part of a burial 
and it confirms that the practice of human sacrifice was probably an actual practice insofar as now with him observing that in the east without having the same political motivations as the bishopric of of hamburg the testimony of ansgar and adam of bremen take on new life and new significance it's no longer propaganda because it's been verified by an outside source with the study of the Viking Age, cross-referencing sources is paramount to making any sort of conclusion on, on anything, really, uh, because the contemporary sources are often filled with problematic uh, disagreements within the source, or even just these, these crazy, <laughs> sometimes you get these, these crazy imaginative, uh, uh, fictitious elements in there that undermine the credibility of, of the writing. So even Fadlan helps us to confirm that maybe Adam of Bremen and Ansgar were on to something. With those three sources together, it gives us a good sense that human sacrifice was a practice in Viking Age Scandinavia, particularly in Sweden, and that uh, the testimony of the people who, from the outside who, who looked in and saw it uh, is fairly valid. So let's move on to the archaeological record. The archaeological record is a little more conclusive. The most sensational um, archaeological find that I've read about uh, is the uh, find at Trelleborg in Denmark. It's uh, So five wells were discovered underneath an ancient fort. The wells actually predate the fort. And inside the wells, archaeologists found sacrificed horses, dogs, other animals, uh, and also human beings. But what makes it particularly gruesome, or what makes the find at Trelleborg particularly gruesome, is the fact that the human beings discovered were children. So it really starts playing with the imagination of why would, why would someone sacrifice children? There must have been some very important ritualistic aspect that they were, that they were following. So the answer to that is very hard to come up with. We don't know why they're children, but it does show us that human sacrifice was carried out in Denmark and that human sacrifice of children was carried out in Denmark, which tells us that the practice of human sacrifice was probably very important to the society if they were willing to sacrifice the next generation. Other uh, examples uh, in the archaeological record, there are dozens and dozens of of uh, grave finds that have revealed an important person buried next to another person who is tied up, bound, and then beheaded before, before being buried. This is widely regarded by historians and archaeologists as evidence that, you know, here we have this important person, and then we have this um, slave who is, who is killed and sacrificed and, and placed in the grave alongside. So human sacrifice appears to have been fairly common in terms of sacrificing a slave to, to follow their master to the next world. And so they'd be following an important, wealthy member of the community. That type of sacrifice is what Ibn Fadlan witnessed on the Volga River. So here we have a historical source that complements the archaeological record and the archaeological record that complements a historical source. With all of that together, can we say that human sacrifice in the Viking Age was a real thing? Yes, I think we can. I think human sacrifice was definitely practiced fairly widespread across Scandinavia during the early Viking Age. Less and less as the Viking Age progressed and as the Christianization of Scandinavia progressed as well. But at the outset, at the beginning, it was certainly a practice. How ubiquitous was it? It's really hard to say. Grave finds in the archaeological record show us that there were there was some human sacrifice being carried out in Denmark, in Norway, in Sweden, uh, but also in uh, the Orkneys. If you'd like to learn more about human sacrifice in the Viking Age, I encourage you to check out the article that I will link down in the uh, description. And outside of that, that's it for me for today. This is CJ Adrian signing out.